This is the peak week for hurricane season in the United States, while our neighbors in the Pacific have suffered through an awful year of punishing typhoons. The Atlantic hurricane season remains mild. Two researchers are wondering if climate change will mean fewer violent storms in the future. CCTV's Sean Calebs has our story. Hurricane Katrina left its deadly mark on U.S. Gulf Coast states and laid waste to the city of New Orleans. More than 1,800 people died when the powerful storm struck 10 years ago. It is the most costly natural disaster in U.S. history, blamed for nearly $70 billion in damage. And you've heard so many people say it looks like a war zone here. Well, those fires as they're burning in the city only add to the surreal look of the city after a war. They may have been among the most enduring scenes of Atlantic hurricanes, but by no means were they the only images. The period from 1995 to 2012 was an exceptionally punishing period for hurricanes that were spawned from the Atlantic Ocean. It's been drilled into us that climate change is going to mean more and harsher storms. Researcher Phil Klotzbach writes in the Washington Post, there's evidence to suggest that the painfully memorable two-decade era that brought some of the most intense hurricanes on record and some of the most active hurricane seasons is coming to a close. Klotzbach and his colleagues point to the changing conditions in Greenland. The ice shelf is melting, and as it does, the freshwater runoff is affecting the salt content in the northern Atlantic and cooling the surface sea temperature. Add those factors to El Nino conditions, and the researchers write in Nature Geoscience that all of this implies that the frequency of storms that make landfall along the east coast of the U.S should decrease significantly. But the Pacific Ocean has seen more than its share of violent typhoons this year. Some researchers contending the El Nino weather pattern that shreds storms in the Atlantic is actually feeding those in the Pacific. Typhoon Sotolaw unleashed its fury on China in August, triggering massive flooding, mudslides, and leaving more than two dozen dead. There are also researchers who say there's just not enough science to back up claims that the Atlantic is entering a more mild period of hurricanes. But there's no question that warmer, saltier water helps fuel hurricanes. From 1995 to 2012, Atlantic hurricanes caused more than $500 billion in damage in the United States. Oh, uh, gosh. Nothing we can do to help these people other than notify the Coast Guard. With Katrina still a stinging memory, no one who has ever been in the path of a hurricane is willing to let his guard down just yet. Sean Caleb, CCTV, Washington.